look at this. This right here. I'm going to hop over. The, this is some talent. Meriz One is joining us right now. He is a famous artist. If you remember Five Points, this is the guy behind it. And he is also friends with Marley Marl. And he did this portrait. Come join us for a minute and tell us about how long you've been working on this portrait. Uh, about an hour or so. About an hour. Wow. I mean, that's incredible that Thank you could you. do something like this because something that Steve and I were talking about um, before the show started is that you know Marley, and when you look at this portrait, you can see behind his eyes. It's just not a picture of him. There's personality exuding yes. from this. Yes. How, how, how do you translate that? Um, well, you know, in, in finding the right image, I had to like look and in, to our relationship and. and I, I love the black and white image because it really gives a lot to the imagination. And when I saw it, I was like, it's a strong, bold image that I think represents him well. It's incredible. We mentioned Five Points. It's a documentary that was done on that. Tell us your role in that community. That was sort of the mecca of spray painting forever, and then they finally just tore it down a short while ago. Yes. Uh, I ran it for about 12 years. Uh, mm -hmm. There was graffiti existing on it for 20 full years. There's your name and, right there. Yeah, and it was, it was the largest legal outlet for aerosol art. Uh, that exists, um, yeah. and I don't think it could ever be replaced. Right. Um, we also catered to all elements of hip hop, you know, as well, including Molly Mall and uh, break dancing, I'm seeing, so made it a very unique place. Yeah, and you've done commercial products uh, projects as well, the Knicks, and you know, all kinds of folks and, and corporations. Talk to us about the importance of graffiti. I mean, it's been around forever. Clearly, you can see it's art, but yeah. what does it really translate? Uh, the thing I like about it is it's it's um, it's raw. It's you know, it's expressing yourself. There's you know, it's you're pretty much putting out what you want out mm -hmm. there, and is no holds barred. Right. I right. mean, it is an element of getting caught. You know, when when artists are doing illegal work, uh, but on, to me, it's the it's the most relevant art form. And I mean, of what's time. amazing to me is the same thing as hip hop. You sort of was this renegade art form that I don't think in a million years when you started you would have thought would have been embraced by the mainstream Never. in any way and now it's in museums all that sort of thing does that make you feel good or does that not even it makes, matter to it you? makes me feel good and you know like I said with running five points I got to uh, introduce this art form to mothers grandmothers tourists and and it, it really opened eyes to a lot mm. of people that this is truly art yeah and I mean how many lives have been put on a better path Oh. having this outlet. Myself included. So, yeah. Maris, do you have a dream project or a place you'd like to work? I'd like to see a graffiti museum finally be born uh, okay. in New York, where in it New should York. be. Um, and that's to come down the line. Uh, as for that, I, I mean, I love traveling. I love uh, experiencing different cultures and and uh, just getting my name out there. Well, we really appreciate you coming in here. It's unbelievable to think that I, you did this in an shocking. hour. I know. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean... Where does this wind up from here? I'd like to give it to Marley. Oh, Marley, do you hear that? <laughs> Looks like he likes That's it. That's yours. Yes, yes. Like thank that. you. That's thank insane. You. That's Amazing. insane. There is one. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Incredible. Thank you. Awesome stuff. And